Right, I'm recording again. It could be that the battery's already low. And this will go out again. I don't know why it went out. But I've just come out of St Mary's. And I'm just going around the... Um, the graveyard of St Mary's Church, Bury St Edmunds, where my great grandparents married, Mary Ann Oakbrooks and Joseph, uh, Louis Joseph Edward Stibb married there. <sighs> yeah, the, I was doing a video and it just suddenly went off, and it doesn't look like the battery's empty yet. There's a picture of the cathedral tower. The ruins are over there, which I did earlier. I'm just doing a tour around um, we never really did this graveyard very well that'll all be the part of the abbey over there yeah that little tiny bit of video I did won't come out it's quite a good picture isn't it well, that's St Mary's Church. Is it not going to chime 11? What time is it? No, it's quarter past. Of course, I've recorded all this on audio with um, pictures in the past. I put it on Ancestry, but they don't do it anymore. So all that stuff I put on Ancestry to do with my tree, they've probably still got it, mind. It's gone into storage. They're not using it anymore, but they've, they've kept it. They've still got my stuff, but it's gone into storage already. It's a good job I made copies. That's like a magistrate's court over there. Yeah, like I was saying, we never really did this church properly, this graveyard. <sighs> Can't remember seeing this before either. There was a big slab in the church to the oak, Charlotte Oak. Yeah, this is like some private monument in here, isn't it? These uh, old, very old graves. You'd, ha you'd actually have to get a burial list, really, to work out if there had been anyone in your family here. Because none of these are identifiable. Not without a lot of work on them. There's the back of the church again there. There's the back of the church. St Mary's of Bury St Edmunds. Where Mary Ann Oakbrook's married. Like I said, she's my great-grandmother. She died in 1930. Was born in 1850. And she, I think she married about 18... Oh, I'm not quite sure if it was 80 or... I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember everything. Well, that, anyway, that's um, a nice picture of the church there. I'll have to stop the video in a minute to do a photograph of this. I took quite good photos. The old Instamatics actually did take really good photos. Right over and out.
Been a wedding up. Graffiti everywhere. Just like when my. I don't know which door she would have gone in. Whether she would have gone in the side door or this one. I don't know. It might have been mentioned somewhere. You never know. Somebody would have written about it. To get married in a big church like this. Isn't Edward Petit there? That's a common name. Just doing what I can.
if I'm not talking a lot, is that it was difficult to do any talking at all in the church. There's lots of people about. I did try to mention what I was doing there very quickly. But, so I never did any talking. Sometimes you can't, you see. This is um, some of the problems of... Uh, visiting place. Yes, that's why I don't think I'm going to do the cathedral today. I've done the, um, not the abbey, I mean, I've done the, um, some of the ruins, um, because I really need to get to the villages. building very old isn't it look at that it's almost a part of the ruins by Elizabeth Frank CBE was commissioned by West Suffolk County Council to mark the end of his independent administration of the area of the ancient liberty of St Edmund upon the establishment of the Suffolk County Council in 1974. She was born in Thurlow. The sculpture was unveiled by the Earl of Stratbroke, Lord Lieutenant of Suffolk, 17th July 1976. I've got pictures of it before I think. Maybe it's supposed to be St. Edmund. Don't actually say what it's supposed to be, does it? I should imagine that's what it is. It's St. Edmund. Oh, 